Oh, it's always fun being gay, but tonight's our night and that's it. Oh, well, I don't, I don't really look at gay as being fun. It's really a lifestyle. It's just, it's what I enjoy doing and it's, you know, those lights are unbelievable. It's, um, it's just me. I mean, you know, it's me living my life and I get a buzz out of my life. Has it always been so much fun being straight? straight. That's, uh, That's right. You can't always be, you know, on top of the world. You have your ups and you have your downs, like anywhere else, I hope. Oh, it's a celebration of life, that's all. It's just, it's just the lifestyle. It's great. Mm. We're two men, defined as capital M-E-N. The lifestyle runs very simply. We both enjoy each other's company, the same as everyone else, but we enjoy the company of other men. Very rarely, if ever, would a woman cross our doorstep. Very. Gay men are just like any other men. They can be masculine, they don't have to be effeminate. Um, some people say letters are as, sort of, as refer to letters trade, but it's not. I think you accept them from a distance. Only from a distance. We all enjoy ourselves. It's the best night of the year. Always. For me, for yes. us. I love the fun. Does anyone, does anyone ever hassle you still for being gay? Really? No. I've never been no, not really at all. For being gay. I've always had total support from my family and friends, so that makes it a lot easier. And what about other people that you might have met, you know, when you went out and got a job or anything? I've never really ever, ever, ever had any, any worries about being gay. No other people annoy me. Everyone's having a lot of fun tonight. Is it always this much fun being gay? No, no, no. That's why you dress up, you see, because more people approach you. Oh, my God. And, of course, like everybody else, when you're trying to be straight or no, not straight as in opposed to gay, but straight, um, you sort of put barriers around you. But they all sort of go when you dress up and be silly like I am tonight. <laughs> Beat. Beat. Oh, oh. Buzz. Um, I, like, because when God created um, Adam and Eve, he didn't create Adam and Steve. And uh, it was meant for men and women, not for um, Steve and Bob and Peter and Paul. I hate them. Why? Because they're practising unnatural relations with people and they're spreading AIDS. Well, I reckon if they kept themselves to themselves, it'd be fine because AIDS would eventually wipe them out anyway. But... But it's the bisexuals that I re reckon are the real problem because they're the ones who are slowly but surely spreading it throughout the straight community. Uh, I hate them. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, keep them away from me. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you see them parading on the streets, you know? I mean, if I was gay, I'd make sure no one knew about it, you know? But these people want to come out on the street and make them, you know, like us to accept them, you know? And I wouldn't want anybody knowing I was gay if I was gay, you know what I mean? There's a little bit of harassment, but I mean, I've had it for years, so you just get used to it. You live your life to the fullest. You are, I am what I am, and so you make the most of it. No one's hassled me tonight. I, can, I think everyone thinks they're all having fun. If anyone hassles anyone, everyone will gang onto them. I care for my other half, Wayne, um, far more than I would honestly some of the straight families that I've been into. However, um, extended beyond that, a lot of our people um, regard me and I regard them as members of a family. And we care for each other far more as an extended family than some households that you see. And frankly speaking, I'm amazed at what some of the straight society people do. And we do care more. If someone's in trouble, we will put our hand out and say, you know, can we help? I've never been subjected to um, victimisation for being gay. Never? No. Out there. I mean, it's really difficult to be out of the closet out there. I mean, it just really is. I mean, as soon, as soon as people find out that you're gay, you know, you know, oh, you're different, you know, you don't belong here, get out sort of thing. And it's a really hostile environment. Uh, they're all right in some ways, but if they try and influence anything against me, that's when I start trouble. But if they keep to themselves, I just leave them alone. So have you been into a bit of poof bashing in your time? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. So I have, yeah. yeah. Down in uh, Sydney at the cross, me and a couple of mates went down, grabbed one bloke, took him down the park and gave him a hiding, and then we took off, came back to Liverpool. Why, why did you pick him in particular? Uh, we were sitting uh, uh, down on the wall where they all hang out, and he came and picked us up. Oh, well, no wonder if you were sitting on the wall. But weren't you, weren't you asking for it in that case, if you were hanging around that wall? 
Uh, we all went in with the general idea of going to get, going to grab one and bash him. And so he just come down and picked the, picked us up, and then he went went for a walk with one of my mates, and then the other two of us followed and grabbed him in a park. Did you beat him up badly? No, oh, not bad. Give him, a, give him a few stitches around the eyes. That's about it. I think most people out there think it's sick and it's perverted and it's wrong and it's really disgusting. Are you sick? No, I'm not sick. No. There's nothing wrong with being gay or lesbian for that fact. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that your choice, you know, it's your sexuality. You've got the right to choose what sort of sexuality you want. You want, you know. If you want to be straight, bisexual, homosexual, lesbian, you know, it's up to you. I left school because they all couldn't handle my differentness and that I had lesbian friends. Like, I've had older lesbian friends since I was younger and I'd go out with them, but... And I'd, you know, I'd tell one or two of them because they're my friends, but they, you know, still didn't understand and, you know, they treat me weird and think, you know, oh, Leanne, the weird one. We went upstairs later on and we had a few drinks and that. And I went to the bar and he pinched me on the arse and said, you know, see, you like it? And and we just sort of got into a real hassle about it because <laughs> I had to put my drinks down and turn around and say, listen, don't, you know. And as I went to turn around, he went to do it again, so just reflexes, I just slapped him right across the face. And then Leanne got really upset because I was upset with just, I would, you know, just wish she would have left me alone. Sexual harassment, they see it as we're enjoying it, you know. And like, it's like sexual harassment is seen as a big thing. I found it happens in a workplace, but it happens all over the place. No, no. I mean, you can't live with your lover when you go get flats. There's some poems, I mean, someone's got to say, oh, he's my brother. Always my best friend, you always got to go for two bedrooms. That's hard. You, yeah, you're all the same or, you know, like all the blokes wear flannelette shirts and, and jeans and that sort of thing. And all the girls, you know, get all dolled up for the guys and just, like, it was really funny because not long ago, um, I was sitting at home one night, I had nothing to do. And my brother was there and he asked me to drive him around to different pubs and that sort of thing just so he could um, have a night out without having to drive. And he's got a beautiful car, so I said yes, you know. And um, we went out to all these straight places and it was the first time that I'd sat there and I'd been totally sober, had absolutely nothing. And I just sat there and I watched the way they went on, you know, like there was a band playing and the women got up and danced. And the men just sort of stood around and all drank together and that sort of thing and played real yobbo. And then towards the end of the night, all the men would go over and sort of, in a way, pick their women for that night. It was so... When you I don't, yeah. And also, when you don't, like, conform to the other how the other women are acting, then immediately they pick us, and they pick us as lesbians, and then they hassle us. Oh, yeah. And so many times you end up in brawls, so many times you end up, you know, getting kicked out of places, or we get them kicked out because we've done nothing but just be on our own and have a good time. And this new chick coming to school. And I just automatically just fancied her. It just come natural. It's like, oh, I wouldn't mind her. I wouldn't mind to kiss her or hug her or just like that. Did you ever feel guilty about it? No, no. Did other people I... ever try and make you feel guilty about it? Um, yeah, a lot of people didn't like it. No. Um, at a time, I thought to myself, is this what I really want? And I just couldn't help it, it was just, just me. If I get called gay, I automatically think of a poofter, you know, straight away. And then I'm not. I'm nowhere, I'm nowhere like them. They like them. Do you mean that gay means male gays more than female gays? Yeah, that's how I originally it was seen. A gay is the men, but then women started picking it up. Unpolitical women just started picking up calling themselves gay. Or, or camp. When I first met Chris, she yeah. called herself camp. And when I called her, when I said something about a dyke, she was about to punch my face in. And I but just. I wouldn't have. Yeah, you know, she it was, was just that thing that we grew up with. Yeah. Dyking Mount Jewel was, if someone said, you dyke, it was like you dirty dyke. dyke. Not like, are you lesbian? You know, it was like you dyke. And that was bad. So when I met Leanne and she said something about dykes, I said, oh, don't call me dyke. Oh, that's not on, is it? You know, and she said, what? What are you talking about? You know, and now I freely say, you know, people are dykes. And if someone says Campbell Gay, I say, no, I'm a lesbian or I'm a dyke. You can't go out and just hold on to a girl's hand and you get someone looking at you funny. When I was at school, I was really scared, you know, that people would start to get sus about me being a lesbian. Like, because I knew I was, but it just wasn't on at school. I mean, if somebody was sort of a tomboy, she'd be stand on the grass. You know, they're standing on the concrete. Sort of that sort of stupid stuff, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and you jump on the chair if they're on the concrete. It's just so childish. And I think, wow, they must know, you know. 
And so I, I used to have a boyfriend every week, but I'd get rid of him on the Friday. So they wouldn't have to come to my place and see me. So they weren't really a boyfriend. It was only at school, sort of for upfront stuff. Yeah. yeah. Sleeping with, you know, your boyfriend is just sp supposed to be so great, you know, and you just... You, you know, you, you get all these ideas off television just everywhere. You just get ideas all the time. And it's just nothing that it's cracked up to be. I mean, the first time I ever slept with a guy was about three months ago. And it was because at that stage I was sort of curious. I thought, well, what is it like to sleep with a guy? So I thought, oh, well, I'll sleep with a fella. You know, and just see what it's like. And it just so happens, a couple of weeks later, along comes this convenient little bloke. So I slept with him. And I just thought, my God, you know. It's just not the same thing, and it just hurts so much. <laughs> it was terrible. But did you think that that was maybe using that boy in the way that a lot of women say men use no. them? I didn't use him at all because I told him all along. I said, look, I said I am gay. I said, you know, I have a girlfriend. Oh, I didn't have a girlfriend at the time. I said, you know, I've had a few girlfriends, blah blah blah. And I just explained the whole situation to him. And I said, the choice is, is yours. You know, and naturally he said, oh, you know, I'll be in it. You know. Just, you know, went for it. <laughs> it's true, get his end in, yeah? Get his end in, doesn't worry about anything else, you know? So I just slept with him and in, in the end it was... Well, both of us got absolutely nothing out of it because I got to that stage where I said, oh, look, I just can't handle it anymore, go away, you know? I, it just... The funny thing was, he was doing the same things basically to start off with that um, women do, but was a man and it just wasn't the same. I've done female impersonations. What do you like about it? Um, creativity. You know, you get to be flamboyant and all that, outrageous. Um, centre point of attraction. How do most people respond when, when and if you tell them that's what you do? Uh, a little bit shocked, <laughs> a little bit shocked, but they tend to take it really cool. I reckon it's a gas. I go to watch him all the time. I just go and watch him and egg him on and just watch everybody else because I've got, through going with him, I've made friends of my own. So I just go and be friends with his friends, drink with him, laugh with him, and don't worry about it. Just come home when we're ready. So you don't think he's strange or weird? No, doesn't worry me. I just take him as he is. Doesn't worry me. Person's a person. Doesn't matter whether they're boy or homo or straight or anything, they're just you. Well, I uh, take them as I find them and I've known Jason not for that long, but I've, you know, I like to be in his company. I've met some of his friends, which I like, but it's always hands off, of course, because I'm straight. But I like their company, but I don't like what they do. But that's, you know, their business, like Jason was saying, that's his lifestyle. I've got mine, so I expect him to accept mine. But I just can't handle a bloke coming up and putting a hard word on me or something. Same as I've chased him around a few times. Chasing like, him, yeah. But are you, you're still friends with Jason, aren't you? Yeah. I pay out, I pay out on him all the time and call him names and kick him and things like that. He just knows I'm mucking around and takes, pays out back. And then we leave each other alone. Do you think he ever gets hurt? Uh, sometimes he does, he gets offended, but... We both say things to each other that offends us both. So he finds other insults to throw back? Yeah, plenty of them. Like most friends of mine and all that, they accept it and they think that's fine, but I think, you know, the majority of the people out there, they don't accept it, you know? And if, I think if you let them know, there's going to be a backlash and they're going to turn around and say, oh, hey, you know, you're, you're weird, get out, sort of thing. I think it's wrong. Ooh. Sick. Wrong. Oh, well. Wrong. We, we all got different attitudes here. Everyone's I don't think... their own point of view. I just yeah. think it's wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, if that's what they want to do. Um, they might have had something go wrong with their genes when they were born and their chromosomes, and if they want to sleep with each other, then as long as they don't... doesn't affect anybody else, it's yeah, fine. Well, but you don't think it's natural? No, I don't think it was meant to be natural. Something's probably gone wrong over, over the thousands of years, but, but uh, th that's... That's not for us to sort of dwell upon, and it's uh, let them do what they want to do. As long as you don't hurt anyone, you should be allowed to do what you want to do. do you, I don't think you can turn, you know, make yourself gay or whatever. If you do something and you enjoy it, then you're obviously going to do it. So just as long as they don't pinch my bum, I don't care what they do. Have you ever had sort of an approach from a gay person? Is that oh, the same I get it as? All the time. I suppose I must look a bit butch or something. 
But it's all right, you know, because you don't, you know, it makes you understand what it's like being a woman some, when it did happen. It's sort of, you know that awful thing where somebody undresses you with their eyes? It's funny, I'm glad I'm not, because it just seems uh, that they've got a, a lot of difficult things to deal with. I mean, it's difficult enough, it seems to me, just in a, a supposedly acceptable thing of, of um, men and women in heterosexual relationships. And to be gay, um, particularly, you know, male, um, if you mean gay, both male and female, but, like, for guys, they seem to have it more of a, a public thing to get around. Somehow, I feel um, lesbianism is more acceptable. I had this funny feeling for a long time, and then, I sort of got onto the word homosexual, and then I found out what the word homosexual meant, and I thought, that's me, yeah, right, and the rest of them are straight, and I'm the only one in the whole world, you know? And uh, it took a long time to sort of work out, well, look, you're not the only one out there, you know, there's a lot more people out there that are gay, even at Blacktown. I've worked at Blacktown, and, you know, there's a lot of gay people out at Blacktown, but they just, you know, are very hidden. Yeah, I had a vague idea. I was guilty for ages, and I worried about it for years. Like, I didn't come out until I was 20. I think I was 20. And I worried about it for years, and I kept suppressing it. My mother won't accept it. My father has never spoken about it. My, my brothers and sisters accept it fine. I've got one really bad brother. We just don't talk anymore. That's one. One out of five is really good, I think, you know. But, um... I told my mother the day I was moving out of home, and uh, I didn't actually tell her. I told her I was moving out, and she said, you're gay and you're sleeping with that man, aren't you? I thought, oh, my God. <laughs> so she just told me, and I said yes, and that was it. And now they still realise it, but they, they handle it. No one sort of brings it up or it's not talked about, so... So you're friends with your parents still? Oh, you're yeah, really good friends. Mum makes little comments every now and then about gayness and sort of she's really coming around it's really good and dad is really good he's always been good there's never any hassle with dad everyone's so much more open in the city and in Mount George it's just sort of so it's just this minority of people that won't sort of come out and we all go down somewhere oh look they're lesbians you know nobody knows but if you go look in the city and there's a bunch of lesbians nobody sort of oh look at them they're lesbians you know sort of but at Mount George they would they'd say oh look at that which which, which one do you reckon the butch which one do you reckon the bitch and that's what they do I used to live with a girlfriend at uh, Lethbridge Park and we lived with her and her two kids and uh, it got to the stage where uh, the other people in the street wouldn't let their kids play with uh, her kids because we were gay People are frightened of what they don't know. I mean, that's what they always say. They're frightened of the unknown, and when they don't know lesbians and then they meet one, then naturally they're frightened of it. Whether we wanted to live together or not, you know, as a gay couple with, you know, two children, it didn't matter. It was just because the kids were being really badly affected by it, you know, beaten up at school and that sort of thing. The kids at kindergarten, you know, a little three-year-old girl, all the little kids at this kindergarten she went to two days a week threw pain all over her because we were gay. Which, and that, when it gets to that stage, you've just got to stop and you've just got to really think, and I just moved back to Mum and Dad's place. Did you um, ever have a crush on boys? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> madam, heaven <Really>? forbid. <laughs> no, the only thing I used to do was I used to worship the Who, but I never had any sexual leanings towards the other side. David Bowie. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. David Bowie was, was definitely my idol yeah. and, and I couldn't do enough to try and not like him when I was 13 or 14. I used to go around school with all these Ziggy Stardust uh, lightning bolts painted on my arms and on my cheeks and stuff like that. If David Bowie had asked you to go to bed with him, would you have? Oh, gee, that's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> I might have done it then, but because um, it could have been the trendy thing to do and I could have gone to school and said, guess what? But, um, but <laughs> I don't think I'd do it now. Well, I, I, I think, uh, I, yeah, I think I have, yeah. I think I have, but um, maybe I, uh, maybe I, you know, I, I didn't go through with it. And uh, I, I have big crushes on girls, but no, I, I wouldn't, I just don't go through with it. So have you ever felt attracted to anyone of the same sex? Oh, lots of times. I don't, I don't really care 
who fornicates with who, really. I don't understand the sexual side of being gay. But so lot of gay blokes I like because they're very like women, and I like that. It's, it's, it's about like liking people, not because they're boys or because they're girls, I think. I, th I guess it's just about liking people and, and feeling free to like them. Unfortunately, in this society, we're not often free to express that, you know. Australian society especially isn't a particularly affectionate type of society. We don't touch each other very much. So like if, if say Craig and I touch each other, people go, oh wow, you know, they you know, they have to make a silly comment about it rather than accept it because it embarrasses them. Same as if two girls kiss or if two girls hold hands. I think it's hard because you're not you're denying part of yourself. And you start to sort of you first you go through the guilt because you're feeling that you shouldn't have. You know, society says you, you can't have those feelings. So you get the guilt. And you say, well, look, you know, I'm a self, I can do it anyway. And then you start feeling guilty because you've gone against your parents or something like that. But I think it really stuffs your head around a bit if you suppress it for too long. Society puts a lot of pressure on heterosexuals. I mean, the whole traditional come on scene with guys meeting girls and, uh, and the pressures of going out and socialising normally. I mean, all those are really avoided by homosexuals. I mean, they, uh, they have a great time together, which I really dig, actually. That's, I, I always found homosexuals to be very happy people. And I, I actually like going to homosexual clubs because they're just always having a good time, you know. And there's not this stigma of worrying about what the other sex is thinking about you. I mean, a man knows how another man feels, you know what I mean? And there's, there's an instant communication, there's always, there's usually an instant chemistry in that respect if they're both gay, you know. So uh, for that reason, I think they're, they're, they're quite uh, lucky and quite, quite well off. I mean, it, for me, it takes the excitement out of it. I mean, it, uh, to me, that part of the game is trying to work out what the other person feels, you know, what the, of the opposite sex, but... So you've never been in love with a boy? No. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean, what do I think about people who are gay? They're just, they're people. I mean, if, I, if, if it's a nice person, I like them, and if it's a not a nice person, I don't. You might as well say, what do I think about people who've got brown hair? What do I think about people who've got blue eyes? I mean, you have to meet the person to decide. People's sexuality is not what you judge them on. What do you reckon? I'm with Ben, you know, I mean, I think put that very clearly. Yeah. Uh, I just can't, can't be handled by a man or a blade or something. What about, but what about, have you got close male friends that you might, you know, sometimes fling your arm around them or, I mean, isn't... No. No, I've never done that. The only time that's happened is when we both fell over drunk or something. Yeah, I don't think it's wrong. Love is not wrong. I'm just like everybody else, you know. I've got the same feelings, I've got the same characteristics, you know. I mean, there's nothing different about me just because I'm gay. I'm just like everybody else. Beat, 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 beat,